Hey traders, welcome. It's Shane from GMT Futures. What I want to do is take you through how to import a strategy into multi chart, so strategy plus indicators. So the first thing we're going to look at is uh, receiving our our indicators and strategy as a file from Mike. So Mike, we're basically going to save those to a folder with us to our computer, which I've done there. So saving it to the multi charts folder. Then we're going to log into multi charts. We're going to actually import that that strategy and indicators into multi charts. So we're going to do that now. Okay, traded. So I've opened multi charts up, and what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to import my V2 indicators and my strategy. So all I need to do is go File, and I need to know, to then go to the New option. Then scroll down, you'll see it. You'll see there you've got the option of Power Language Editor. So you click on Power Language Editor, and then what you're looking to do now is go File. You're importing your read-only uh, ELD. So there it is. There, the one that I'm after is the V2 trend with indicators. So I've highlighted that. I go open, and then what should happen then is basically you should get your import studies and a list of all of the studies that are being imported into your multi charts and then you just basically then go OK you've got your functions indicators and strategy all ticked and go OK uh, yes to all that will have imported those strategies in there now go back to our chart you'll see that if I go to format strategies you'll see I've got the trend trader in there so if I go to the traders if I then go into my insert strategy expert and you'll see there there's a GMT V2 trend so I go I can select that and then if you go into your indicators you'll see we also have the indicators on our on our platform so the paint bar the support resistance and the take profit so then I can basically go in and load those indicators up which I've done already so did that a little bit earlier so I can turn those on so I'll go format status is on for those indicators it takes a couple of seconds for them to load up but uh, there we have it now I'll turn the strategy on as well format strategy expert we'll turn that to status on ok traders before you try turn your strategy on in multi charts a couple of things you need to do the first thing is you need to go into format strategy experts and just go to the properties tab so down the bottom you'll see that you uh, you definitely want to have your commission rate per trade I've got ten dollars in there and you want to have the maximum number of bars study will be referencing is 150 and then obviously your fixed share contract size is 10 uh, 10 full lots obviously and then OK and the other thing you want to do is just make sure that your strategy is has enough data back as far as uh, and I'll take you through that now and the other thing is you want to make sure that your actual strategy is turned on so we've got statuses on and then we go close so great that's the strategy on there now the strategy is not actually on live it's actually just printing on the chart and if you want to view your performance report you just go strategy performance report and you'll be able to see your actual performance report so there it is there this one's taking 48 trade 48 trades uh, it's got an average it's got a win rate of 43 percent its average trade net profit is 80 for the trend trader which is pretty so that's uh, that's a bit of a snapshot of the total trade analysis now this one's only going back one month so it's not a bad result for one month's worth of trading and you can see there the average trade net profit or the overall net profit is 38 uh, 56 for the month so if we go then into if we then go into format instrument you see we've got two bits of data loaded up here data one and data two obviously referencing two different Renko bricks but on data one is our main chart so if we go into there you go format you'll be able to see that you've got settings in here and you want to make sure that your settings are set to give you enough data back so at the moment I've got uh, I've got back to the 31st of May so I want to take that back to around about the 28th of May so I've got a full month back and go close and that is on now fantastic so we should be able to now view a 
it'll take a couple of seconds for that to load up obviously and when that does load up and come on then we'll be able to go view strategy performance report and there's our strategy performance report on our trend trader and you'll see there that it's, it's had 3,147 3, trades, so a lot of trades. Average trade 82.92, so that's uh, that's a really good uh, average trade net profit. And so overall, a uh, yeah, and we'll just have a look at our equity curve here. equity curve so traders that was a very quick look at how to load up the strategy on your uh, on your multi charts and uh, thanks for joining us for that uh, that walkthrough video if you enjoyed watching the video and uh, want us to do more of the how-to video series which we're keen to do uh, please make sure you click like on this video uh, down the bottom there on YouTube so uh, that would be fantastic and if there's anyone here you think might benefit from uh, viewing this video please feel free to forward the uh, the video on and for those who want more information about GMT futures uh, please feel free to send us an email the two email addresses are there and again thank you for your time have a fantastic day and look forward to catching you on the next uh, video cheers